All right, today's video is going to show you how to make new pages in Blogger and how to make sure those pages can be seen by your readers. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to www.blogger.com. It should bring you to your home page that looks similar to mine. You might have a couple boxes up here that are yellow and blue. You can hit exit on them and they will disappear for you. So we're going to go ahead and go down to where you see pages on your left hand side and click on that. It will say there are no pages at this time because we haven't created any yet. You're going to come over to the left hand side of our toolbar here and where it says add new page, you're going to click it. This will bring you what to looks like a Word document. The title of the page is right up here. Our first page is going to be titled Bell Work. So go ahead and type Bell Work in now. And the top of the page, we always want to title that as well. I'm going to align it to the center and then I'm going to type in Bell Work and highlight it and you can make it a larger font like this and you can even uh, change the type of font it is over here there's not many choices but you can change it and now I have my bell work page ready to go I'm gonna go over here to the right hand side and I'm gonna hit publish and then I'm gonna hit confirm now I have one page created. You're also going to create another page, so go ahead and go up here to New Page again. And this one is going to be labeled Mealworm. Mealworms. Again, at the top of the page, center align, you're going to type in Mealworms. Again, you can highlight it, change the font type and the font size. Now you can also put in a picture below, which what we will do for every unit page we have. So go ahead and open up another browser by hitting the plus button at the top. Type into your images, mealworm images. Find one you like, two finger touch, and hit save image as. Do not copy and paste your image. It will cause issues later on. And then you title it something so you can find it. Hit save. All right, now I'm gonna head back to my Mealworm page. I'm going to find the little image button right up here. I'm gonna hit insert image. I'm gonna hit upload from computer. Choose files. And I'm gonna find my Mealworm picture and hit open. And I'm gonna select it and hit insert. Notice it's extremely big. If you want to make it smaller, you can hit the minus. If you want to make it bigger, you can hit the plus. All you have to do to get this toolbar up is to click on the photo. Minus, plus. And it can be as small or as large as you wish. And I'm ready to publish my page, so I'll go up here to the right hand corner, hit publish, hit confirm. And now I have two pages created, mealworms and bellwork. I'm going to go down, I'm going to take a look at what my blog looks like. So we're going to go to this very bo bottom button where it says view blog. And notice you can't see my pages up here at the top. That's because I have not fixed my settings yet. So what I need to do is I need to go back to my blogger page and I need to choose layout. And it will bring you to a page that looks like this. You're going to look for the third one down that says cross column. You're going to hit add gadget and you're going to scroll down to find pages right here and hit the little plus and you see there's the pages that you have you always have a home page no matter what and then you have mealworms and bellwork so you will select mealworms and bellwork okay you can arrange the order that you want to see them in over here if you chose to do so but you have to make sure they're all check marked or you're not going to be able to see it on your page. Then hit save. And we'll make sure we're saved down here by hitting this bottom button. And you can also preview it by hitting the I. And then you should be able to see your Mealworms page and your Bellwork page, which is exactly what we want. So we hit save and come back over here to view blog. And you should be able to see your Mealworms page and your Bellwork page. And that's that. Till next time, see you later.